Yeah, cause uh... <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That, 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 that's fair. And uh, but obviously, you you spoke about uh, uh, comedy and uh, seriousness and mixing those two. Uh, I personally think that comedy is one of the toughest genres to pull off. Uh, one of the reasons because I I could name you right now a hundred great drama movies, but if you ask me for ten great comedies that came out last ten years, I would have a I would struggle to name them. Uh, in, in your mind, is comedy because is that if you agree with that that comedy is hard to pull off? Is that because we have all our individual sense of humor that sometimes obviously compares with other? Or is it just because it's hard to be funny guy? <laughs> so it's funny because I spent most of my career being like, well, comedy is easy and drama is hard because my natural inclinations were to comedy. And I always thought I was kind of like skating by, kind of cheating, writing all this comedy stuff. And then I saw an interview with uh, my friend Chip Zdarsky and he was saying, similar to what you were just saying, that you know I can write a scene that is sad and will make you cry. And everyone who reads it will cry. And I can write a scene to make you laugh. And one in 10 people will think that's funny. It's so much harder to do comedy. And I was like, oh, I've been doing this on hard mode <laughs> for the past 20 years. Like, doing all this comedy. What is this? Um, I think it's true that uh, comedy is hard. That we have different senses of humor. And also, comedy ages very quickly. Um, mm -hmm. You can look back to critically acclaimed comedies of the 1960s. And just be stone faced throughout the whole thing, be like, this is broad and goofy and does not scan anymore. And that's within living human memory. Uh, I remember reading a bunch of ancient Greek uh, comedy and be like, this is, this is comedy in theory, I guess, but I'm not laughing. Then I found one ancient Greek joke that uh, did make me laugh. So there's still some jokes that survive, but it's harder. Which one? Okay. Uh, hopefully you'll find this funny. There was a uh, man named Hippocles, and he had this daughter. And the daughter uh, was caught the eye of the king. And the king was like, I'm going to marry this daughter. And Hippocles was like, this is great. Let's give us a lot of money. Our family set. And then at the wedding ceremony, uh, Hippocles gets super drunk. He's doing like the ancient Greek equivalent of like the lamp shade on his head. He's really embarrassing himself. And people are like, Hippocles, sit down, you're ruining this. And the joke goes, uh, Hippocles replied, Hippocles doesn't care. Hence the famous expression, Hippocles doesn't care. <laughs> and I was like, Monica, that's not an expression. That's amazing. <laughs> the famous expression, Hippocles doesn't care. I love it. Wow. <laughs> may, may, may I give you one? Your may vary. <laughs> uh, are, are you familiar with, did you maybe ever read Franz Kafka? I've read um, The Metamorphosis, so I've read the hits, but not, not a bunch of it. Uh, yeah, for uh, today, uh, in a lot of ways, people, when they say Kafkaesque, you know, they, they think of this bleak style, maybe kind of depressive and gothic about Kafka. Uh, but, the, but, the, but the thing is, uh, there are accounts of him reading his books to his friends, and at the time they were laughing their asses off. Uh, they were meant as almost uh, these funny novels uh, at the time, but it's interesting that now that we read them, they're almost like this uh, bleak, uh, kind of philosophically gothic books. Yeah, so, yeah, it's it's crazy how quickly uh, opinions change and mm -hmm. responses so to where we stay genuine, uncensored, and unscripted, and we always will, as we have to order our usual. Share us, subscribe us, and stay tuned until the next Wednesday. Iguzo!